on Manga Studio uh, version 5, the newest version. Um, big thing that's different between it and version 4 is colouring and it's so completely different that it really, it, I think it's easily a solid replacement for colours for uh, who, you, who would normally use Photoshop. But I'm going to show you one of, one of the features of it which is um, an ability to create flats very quickly. So what I'm going to do, I've drawn here on a, a, a simple black and white layer, you'll, you'll see if I do that, you'll see it's actually just black on uh, transparent. Um, what I'm going to do is create a nice new layer which will be just for the sake of, uh, of how you'd normally colour, it's going to be below that. I'm also going to set the transparency of this to about 50% so you can see you can see what's happening here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a flat layer uh, and the ordinary process as I understand it for most colourists is to use a magic wand tool, select what it is you're going to do uh, within, within a flat layer and then fill it and then do a magic wand and then fill it and magic wand fill it and so on until you've got your complete flat layer done. One feature, one thing that automatically is much faster is that I can actually, without doing a magic wand, I can set um, uh, Manga Studio up to refer to different layers so I can, I can select here, what I'm selecting is refer another layer um, and I can select which layers I want it to refer to um, and essentially it's referring to everything. In other words, when I fill, what it'll do is it will look at all the other layers uh, in, uh, that are valid for it and it'll go, well, where should I fill? So if I fill this now uh, with this flesh color, you should see Um, you should see it'll fill everything because I've got a little tiny gap here. Um, if we close a larger gap, you should see. There we go. So what it's done is it's filled. First of all, it's closed that gap that I had there, and in fact, there's another gap over there. It's even larger. It's closed those gaps. Uh, it's also filled. You'll see. It's actually filled within an area of the black, so it's not even. It's. It's not filled right up to the black, it's filled slightly further, uh, which I'm sure you'll understand when you go to print, that becomes very useful because it means then you, if, if your black shifts at all, it's it's much easier to work with. So I'll, I'll, I'll just for the sake of this, I'll close up that little gap there uh, and I'll fill that layer again so we can select our fill to fill and I'm going to color this here. So again, all I'm doing here is I'm just doing fill, where ordinarily what you would expect to do is you would expect to um, select a layer, colour it, select it, and obviously it'll depend on the detail and the line art, but um, for this, this is this is plenty. So again, another little gap here, but I've already got it to close gaps. So close gaps, the gaps are set quite wide, so I fill that with blue. So that's, that's one. Now, what I would normally do with colouring is I usually have then what's called what I'd call a render layer, uh, which I sort of sit on top of my flats layer. Um, what I can now do is I can tell this to set my flat layer as a reference layer, okay, and then I can go to uh, the layer that I'm going to use as a render layer. So what you typically want to do with a render layer is you want to select those flats that you've done so you can then start colouring. So uh, using the magic wand, I've set on what the key thing is. I've set myself onto the render layer. I'm ignoring the, the the flat layer, and I've told my magic wand tool to select on the reference layer. In other words, when I tap on it, it will only look at things on the reference layer and select those. So if I tap on that now, you'll see it's picked up all the colors within my flat layer, even though I'm actually coloring on a, a different layer altogether. And now I can then I can then sort of. I can do whatever I want to do there, so I'll fill that with a, I'll fill that again. Oh, so we filled that, and now what I can do is I've I've got a whole bunch of tools here. Oil paint is currently my favorite obsession because it allows me to do very nice sort of simple mixes. And it's a little slower than it should be because I'm actually recording this screen cast as as I'm doing it. Ordinarily, it builds up faster than this. And there we go. And that's it.
So I can I can go back into my, my blacks and set them up to 100%. In fact, if I turn that layer off, you'll see what's happened there on the on the on the various um, flats as they've kind of jotted up against each other. So there we go. So that's it. That's very simple, quick little thing within uh, Manga Studio version five. I heartily recommend it to colorists and anyone who's doing their own comics. Anyway, cheerio. Bye. <laughs>